How's it going guys? Welcome back to Brick Science. My name is Riley and today we're going to build a Lego Winter Soldier mask from the new show on Disney Plus, Falcon and the Winter Soldier. I just started watching it. There will be no spoilers in this video, so don't worry. But we're going to actually make the Winter Soldier mask. I don't even know if this appears in the show. My references are actually going to come from Captain America and the Winter Soldier from the movie. We're going to make this thing actually wearable. I'm also going to start this timer right behind me and that'll tell us how long this build will actually take. That way we can get a fair estimate for you viewers at home who just want to build and just be left alone. So we're going to split this up into three easy parts. The mask, which is this part around the face. The goggles, which are... The go it's pretty self-explanatory. And then we're going to do the strap, step number three. And so we're going to hopefully use some new LEGO dots bracelets for the straps. Kind of make it comfortable. Tiles and plates. Plates, tiles, that's how we're going to start. And some slopes. Now obviously in the movie this thing's made out of cloth. But the first thing we're going to do is build up the curved part that goes around right here. And we're going to do that by measuring. Nose goes here probably long enough. We're gonna put some slopes on that and then we'll connect this to two side pieces with some wedge plates and we'll use some hinges but first we got to build up this curved part. For the nose we're gonna start with this weird piece and we're just gonna connect these together. I'm thinking what we're actually gonna do is make it kind of hinge like that because this has to like it has to be a nose obviously. So let's see if we can do that. We're gonna use a jumper so that we can jump between the studs right there and connect it. That'll give us a better hinge. So now we have that. We're gonna need to fill in these two gaps right here. But now we need to build two side plates that kind of go up like this. So you can kind of picture that. We're just gonna make it. So we need some wedge plates. So when I build things like this, I like to lay them out flat to see if we get the right angles and stuff. So for example, if I'm looking at this picture, probably use two of those on each side. Okay, so we obviously need some designs on these, but just for now I put some tiles on there and then we can see if these hinge. The way we're going to do that, we're going to turn it around. We want to make sure these are as close as they can be, okay? So we want to make that nice, okay? So the way we're going to do this, we're going to grab we're going to grab three 2x4 plates. We're going to put those in the middle probably. Probably a 1x4 plate. We just got to see how to connect these pieces. <laughs> Can't be that easy, right? Okay. Does it work? But yeah, so now we just need to add some details to the front of this, and that'll be in the form of just wedge plates and stuff, like for example that, to kind of close off that gap, make it look better. So we'll do that, and then we'll add the, the gray designs they have on there. It's crazy, because the goggles actually have two straps that come around all the way. We could probably use the dots bracelets for that, because I know we have a lot. Okay, so now we have that weird opening like that. We're just gonna stick this right here, like that, and then. Now we have a nice nose shape. That looks so good. Dude, that nose bump is just per it's spot on. I'm honestly gonna go take a look at it because it feels really cool, but it might just look really dumb. Okay, so it looks good. It just comes too forward on my face. So it's like sticks out because my nose is hitting this piece right here. Because see, when we put this in, that piece goes right where my nose could be. So I'm going to try something. I don't know if it'll work, but I have a piece in mind to connect that. Oh, we! <laughs> it's quite possibly broken. <laughs> okay, so these pieces here, they require no... I'm just going to stop talking to try. I'm, I'm really curious if this will work. This probably won't work, but everything's worth a shot. Okay, so it works. See, now we have a lot of room for the nose, and you can see that because I can put my finger in like this. Okay, so now on to the goggles. All we just need to do is build the goggles and the connector that will connect it to your face. Now, I've created goggles before, and it took a really long time, but I got this. I just need to test the thing with the straps. Okay, and then about three studs in, there are a lot of those, do I? I'm gray. I'm kind of falling apart right now. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna temporarily set this part aside. We know that this thing looks good and it works, right? And then we're gonna build the goggles. So I've built this kind of before. So we need to lay out the eye shape. And this is just based on what I'm seeing here. So there's a few ways we go about doing this. That's the first eye design, right? 
So we can make it like that, but you see how chunky like this looks over here. I don't like that very much. So what I'm gonna do, start with that, and then, then we're gonna grab this here. We're just gonna lay this out and we'll connect it really easily actually. All right, so now that we have this shape, right, we have the perfect shape of the eye, we're going to lay it all out on things so that it stays like it is, right? And then we'll connect it using hinges and stuff. And it'll be really cool and really easy. So easy. I guess. All right, so first step, these things we're actually going to try and connect with some ball joints. Grab a few plates too, maybe even some jumpers. We'll start with these. And then... What are the chances? So we use a jumper plate. Jumper plates are a lot easier for doing stuff like this because you don't have to have two studs on. You can just use one. That is shown just like that. Look at that, guys. And then the other one, just we can literally do the same thing. Yay, one hour. So now, look at me, guys. I'm the winner soldier. Just look from the side. I'm the Winter Soldier. And look how well this matches, probably, since we use the same shapes. Yes, oh, yes, 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 it's so good. Uh, okay, let's replicate this on the other side, then connect them. We gotta build a tiny little bridge for the nose. We actually don't, because we have, yes! Okay, so on the other goggles I had already designed, we had to make like a stupid bridge for the nose, and that was just the worst, dude. It was like so frustrating, but this should be good. Well, other than having to connect these. I, I, we'll, we'll figure that out. Guys, it is time for today's super special shout out. Today's super special shout out is Sacred Bricks. Sacred, thank you for being a well, a subscriber and a viewer and a friend. Thank you. Guys, if you didn't know, if you comment SSS or hashtag Super Shoutout Squad down in the comment section, you have a chance at possibly getting a shout out in the next video. So make sure you do that right now. Comment down below your favorite part about this video and then comment SSS and you might get a shout out in the next video. Thanks, Sacred. Now let's finish this build and then well, let's just finish this build. <laughs>
that. That looks a little better than this side, in my opinion. So we're just gonna do that again. Now that those are in, we're gonna take the lenses out temporarily. The last thing I wanna do is put something right here. And that is essentially just beautiful. Okay, now that we're done with this, we can add these. So for these, I just have a simple little mechanism here where you can take off one of these pieces, right? And then it just clips in like that. So we have two of these around the top that we could put on. These actually, this actually goes around the bottom, but this goes on like this. So like that, and then where are the other ones? There's literally two more. <laughs> I just had them. Oh, they're right under this. I found them. Okay, so these go up here. You see they clip in really easily, which means they can also unclip really easily, so we gotta be careful with that. So this one is actually pre-clipped, and then the bottom one we have to clip ourselves. So with this, we put it like that, grab this piece like so, just like that. So now, this piece goes over the head like this, kind of behind the hair, like that. And it looks kind of stupid right now, but that's just because I can't really adjust it very well. Darn it. Every time, I might need a better mechanism to keep that in. But for now, you put this over your head like so, trying not to break it. Uh, and then these two around the back, where's that green piece? You need that. So these two around the back, do that. And then this piece here clips on and it just always pinches your hair. <laughs> Not kidding. <laughs> so here we go. You have this here like this and just position it how you like it like that. This thing works pretty well, looks pretty good. So we could stop the timer. Guys, this build took one hour and 59 minutes and I'll take these lenses out so you can see my eyes. Just like that, so my eyes are in the correct position and it, it's pretty cozy. It's, I mean, it's not great, but I mean, it's pretty comfortable and it looks pretty good. Obviously, I don't have long black hair, but picture that. All right, guys, here we have the Winter Soldier mask. It is really cool. I made some slight adjustments to the sides here. Essentially, I just added this one piece right here so that the goggles don't stick out as much because the, the goggles were like flipping out like this. Now they have a nice curve to them and it just works a lot better. So you put this over your hair like that and that just sits back there. You could honestly wear it like this but it looks pretty, pretty dumb. So then the second part, you take, you take this piece right here which is a two by two and you lash these onto each other. So you put this onto that red piece right there like that. Take the two by two and you sandwich it like that. Lift it up a little bit, and there you have your wearable Winter Soldier mask. This thing turned out really good. I think it could be a little smaller, but that's just because I have a smaller face. If this were the actual Winter Soldier, it'd probably fit perfectly. So yeah, I mean, it's pretty comfortable. You can see from all the sides, it looks, looks all right, I guess. I haven't really seen it from the back, but now I will, because I can go through the footage. <laughs> what did it say? Who the heck is Bucky? Ah. <laughs> and then to take it off, you just take that one piece off. That comes undone, and then that actually turned out a lot better than I expected. You can see there's probably imprints on my face, but you just add a couple pieces in there. But yeah, guys, this is it. I think it turned out really well. I would add something down here and then like on the sides to kind of finish it off, but I don't have a lot of time for this video. So I'll be doing that, something like that in the future. Let's head back to Studio A to finish the video. Guys, thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, go check out another one down below. We have some helmet tutorials on how to build Lego helmets like this. And go check out the video where I built this faceplate right here and showed you guys how to make that and forgot to attach that piece in the video. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed. Make sure you comment down below what you wanna see me build next, and I'll see if I can make it happen. If you guys wanna pick up some merch, click the link in the description. Thanks so much for watching. My name's Riley, and I'll talk to you in the next Brick Science. See you then.